Hello everyone, welcome back to Layton's Mystery Journey with Lena on the Switcheroony. We're picking up right where we left off, let's go. How did you like the basket show? Was it comfortable sleeping in there? Yeah, thanks Ernest, it beats sleeping on the street, that's for sure. Or worse. Anything to stay out of the, stay out of the pound. Or the Battersea. Out of the Battersea. I don't know what that is. Well, if there's anything else um, at all that you need, do let me know. Oh, and it's just so sweet. I hear you're homeless, uh, you're homeless at the moment, Shell. You're welcome to live here at the office for a while if, if, um, if it would help. Yes, that would be a big help. This memory loss thing is really rough. <laughs> is a really rough deal. Ugh. I don't know who I am or where I came from, where I come from. I just suddenly want, uh, just suddenly found myself wandering the streets. That's the first thing I remember. Until you spotted, um, spotted one of our flies and decided to enlist the services of, of the best detective in town. Yes, that was uh, one of the leaflets I designed uh, that you picked up, Shell. Miss Layton had done absolutely no advertising at all since she set up here, you know. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. Although we still haven't had any business. Apart from a vagrant uh, canine. Oh, well, excuse me for merely being a man's best friend. No, no, Shell. I didn't say um, I was dissatisfied. In fact, I plan to use your dogginess to the full. Uh, dogginess to the full. You do? How? Actually, maybe I don't want to know. By having you do what dogs do best. Using your nose, following the centre of a villain from a scene of a scene of the crime, for example. <laughs> oh, I say, Miss Layton, what a champion idea. Yes, Shell. Yeah, uh, yes, Shell can perform a uh, police dog duties <laughs> with his with his heightened sense of smell. Will be a wonderful asset to the uh, he'll be a wonderful asset to the agency. I hate to rain on your parade, but this doggy's nose knows uh, doggy's nose knows no notable smells at all. Oh my god! <laughs> there we go. Sorry, that was too many nose. Yeah, I agree, Catriel. Um, are you telling us that you can't smell anything? I thought in previous episode he was smelling some something um before the building. <laughs> your nose, you seem to, your nose seemed to be working then. Not exactly. I mean, I can smell things, but no better than a human can, I'd say. Really? Oh, what a disappointment. I was thinking maybe- uh, oh yeah, he sniffed out a hidden puzzle or something. <laughs> I, th I thought your nose, would, your nose would be pretty strong then, if, that, if, it, if it could do that. Really? Oh, what a disappointment. I was thinking um, I might actually find, you use, uh, might find a use for you. Oh, well sorry I'm such a letdown. <laughs> Never mind, I'm sure Shell will, be, uh, Shell will prove useful in, in other ways. Oh, the phone. Get that, would you, Shell? <laughs> Why me? <laughs> well, if you can't help sniff out the truth, the least you can do is take the phone calls for me. I'm a dog. <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get it. You can be someone for a job. Uh, someone with a job for us. <laughs> oh gosh, poor Shell. Hmm. What can I set? Uh, set you working on, Shell? Uh, you'll have to pay your way somehow. Clean cleaning the toilet, perhaps, or filing? No, your paws prohibit so many tasks. Oh, I've got it. You could be the Legend Det Detective Agency mascot. We'll stand you on a prominent on prominent streets uh, street corners, touting for business. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll throw in a free massage as well. <laughs> ah, it looks like Ernest is finished on the phone. <laughs> Gosh, that was Inspector Hastings from Scotland Yard. Scotland Yard, Miss Lard, <laughs> Miss. Uh, Inspector Hastings. Does he have a new case for us? A murder, actually. Oh gosh, a murder. A big case at last. Well, yes, except, well, it seems it's not that simple. The inspector said it was probably a murder, but it might not be a murder. But actually, it probably seems, it, it seems it probably is a murder. Maybe. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not that hard. Did someone get killed or, or, or by someone else or, did, or didn't they? <laughs> I don't know, but the inspector wants you to meet him at Scotland Yard immediately. A murder that might not be a murder, but probably is a murder? Maybe? <laughs> Well, it's certainly, well, it is certainly intrig intriguing. I smell a mystery that needs unraveling. Oh, brother. What's the matter with you? It's the last day of the Riv uh, Riverside Festival, that's all. I had rather hoped to invite you to accompany me to watch the show this evening, Miss Layton. Aww. Oh, yes. I'd forgotten the festival was on, that, uh, was on at the moment. What kind of festival is it? It's a London, tradi London tradition. It takes place on the banks of the, tha of the Thames. Thames? It's a hoot shell. Uh, there are street st street stalls. The <clears throat> the alliteration is is killing me. There are, there are street stalls serving food and drink and stage performers and oh it's rather fun it's rather all fun all rather fun. It goes on for a whole week but today is the last day. 
As the climactic finish to the festiv festivities, tonight will be uh, tonight will be the Riverside show of devotion. Yeah, sounds like a real hoot. Oh, it really is. Lots of young men and women who are in love line up um, on opposite banks of the, th of the Thames. The Thames? Is it Thames or Thames? <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll say Thames. Uh, to face each other and declare their mutual love. Oh, What? In front of everyone else? Absolutely. They say that couples who declare their love at the Riverside Festival will find eternal happiness together, you see? Really? I had no idea about that part of the festival. It's jolly romantic, don't you think? I was hoping to escort Miss Layton so we could watch the show together, but now... Didn't you say it happens every year? There's always next year then, isn't there, Romeo? <laughs> Perhaps not, actually. Numbers have been uh, dwindling in, in recent years, you see. There are rumours that they might uh, there are rumors, um, that they might even abolish the festival altogether. Oh, but it's a tradition, why? This may very well be our last, last chance to experience it. I must, ad I must admit, it does sound appealing. Really? The romance, uh, the, ro <laughs> the romance of it all gets to you, does it, does it miss? Oh joy, it's probably just the food, really. Haha, <laughs> sorry Ernest, it's the food and drink stalls that you mentioned <laughs> that have piqued my interest. Yeah, I figured as much. Ruled by your hunger, not your heart. You should be a dog. Oh, poor Ernest. Uh, food, fest food at festivals always tastes better for some reason, don't you think? It's the atmosphere, I suppose. But the price doesn't, do the price doesn't exactly help the, del the deliciousness, though. Oh yes, I couldn't agree more. It's sharing with someone that someone special that really does it, isn't it? <laughs> yes, well, we mustn't keep Inspector Hastings wait waiting any longer, I suppose. Come along, you two. We need to pop over to Scotland Yard. Scotland Yard. Of course, miss. Why do I need to come? Because you need to earn your keep. You're getting free lodging here uh, free lodging here at my office, remember? Remember? Unless you prefer the street corner advertising we discussed before. <laughs> I'll grab my I'll grab my lead. <laughs> I'm starting to think I picked the wrong agency here. <laughs> oh, poor Shell. It's not like he had a really. It's not like he really had a choice though, Shell, because I mean, um, Catriel and Ernest are the who can understand you. Murder on the Thames. Oh no, murder. That's almost not a murder. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, story. We've got to keep going. I want to do that daily puzzle. So this is uh, the famous Scotland Yard, is it? It's not much of a yard, and it's not in Scotland either. As a dog who likes open spaces. Both revelations are a bit uh, of a disappointment. It's actually quite imposing, isn't it? I'll say. Don't forget that the Metropolitan Police are responsible for keeping the peace across the entire country of London. This this is a very special place, and not least because it's where Miss Leighton and I first met. This is one of my most treasured memories. Such a fate, fate, uh, fateful meeting, wasn't it, Miss? This is no time for reminiscing, Ernest. Inspector Hastings has, has a possible murder, or maybe not. He needs uh, He needs help with. He needs help with. Apologies. Come along, let's go in. Oh, sorry, Miss Ratua. Case coders have been added to Kate's cat's bag. What's that? You can't just give me a new thing and not explain what it is. Case coders. Oh, there we go. A little mini episodes that you, uh, that you can only see here. Each time you solve a case, a new case coder will be added to the list. Now that the case has been solved, you can view the clue descriptions in the case file. Uh, once you solve the case, you can view the information here about the clues that helped you out, helped you get to the bottom of it. Review your case files if you want to remind yourself of, about the little details of your previous endeavours. I was gonna say, what, 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 what's exactly the point of doing that? But I guess it's kind of cute. Anyway, let's, I didn't do the daily puzzle yet, so let's go. Uh, waiters at work. This is a popular place, always looking, always fully booked. Us waiters are rushed off our feet to seating people. Oops. No, no, no. Solve this puzzle. What's it got for me? Fill the restaurant floor with diners and dishes. Uh, press and hold A to bring the diners and dishes over from the left hand side. Um, fill the empty space. Diners must sit fa diners must sit facing each other, but you can't move diners who are seated already. Uh, there must at least there must be at least one dish between pairs of, din pairs of diners, but there can't be another di there can't be another diners or pot plants in in the way. The dishes must always be between diners, not left to go cold. No rest for the restaurant. The dishes must always be between them. Okay. I'm trying my best. So I can't... Uh, I've only got one bit of food. Oh no, I can put food down multiple times apparently. Okay. Uh, this is a puppy place, always fully booked. Okay. So one here. And food would go between you. Alright. 
food would probably go here. I have a person sitting down here. So, one of you here. Food always between them. Whoops. Okay. Did it say? So I have to fill up the entire space, is that right? Um, one person who definitely goes here. And then definitely one up here, I think. <laughs> I think this is how it works, right? <laughs> okay, and then, whoops. Oh, and then do work. Okay. Then another person right here. I'm not just sure what to do here, though. Do I put two bits of food in between them? Oops. Like that? I don't know if that's right. Okay, I got it. <laughs> that was way easier than expected, I don't know. Uh, okay, uh, I thought we were going to say something new. Never mind. Thank you. Yeah, the difficulty was only one hat, so of course it wasn't that difficult. Case coders. Maybe you should... Yeah, let's watch one of the case coders now, actually. Silverware. These short stories tie up um, some loose ends that were left dangling from in the main story. Okay. Silverware is constantly disappearing from the restaurant on, on Chan Chancel Lane. Oh, could it be uh, related to the recent metal thefts? The waiter, ma uh, the waiter may know something. Okay, let's watch it. Ciao, Bella. You're looking as beautiful as ever today, Miss Layton. Oh, haha, thank you. Hmm. I'm not really sure. Um, not all sure that such <laughs> that, that such comments are appropriate. Oh, jealous Ernest. Uh. There's something I was hoping to ask you, actually. You told me before that the silverware was going missing from your restaurant, didn't you? See, that's correct. Why do you ask? Just before we get to the murder, we're going to watch this from the previous- <laughs> We're going to tie up loose ends from the previous case, apparently. <laughs> is what I've decided. Well, I was wondering if you managed to discover why it was disappearing. Uh, was it a thief in the end, after all? Haha, well, actually, it was a simple misunderstanding. Hmm, oh? It's really not very interesting at all. You see, the chef was leaving cutlery on the tables. And the manager was finding them, assuming they'd been left there by mistake, and uh, left there by mistake, and tidying, tidying them away somewhere else. Oh, oh dear! So they weren't actually going missing at all, just being moved around uh, by different people. How funny! Was it the same story uh, with the silver platter? Oh, um, well, don't tell me the silver platter went missing. Went missing because you took it. Non, I, I, <laughs> please, you can't hide the truth from me. It's written all over your face. I. The truth is, I dropped it once. I dropped it, and it got completely ruined. I thought the manager would be angry with me, so I hid it. The more time passed, the harder it became uh, to end up to my truth. But I will now. I will tell the manager everything, I promise. Good. <laughs> Grazie. Grazie, Miss, Miss Layton. You've given me the courage to face my demons. You're very welcome. Uh, it's what a gentlewoman does. Oh, brava, miss. You saw straight through that cad. That cad? Um, you sound a little trend, uh, tetchy. Tetchy? <laughs> oh my gosh, what are these words? <laughs> I don't even, I have never heard these words before. Uh, Ernest? Perhaps you're hungry. Shall we order? Oh god. Order? More food? I'll have the Mount um, Etna curried, curried calzone. Ooh, calzone, please. Actually, no. The angry aqua, uh, aqua pazza. Actually, no. The devilfish for devil, de uh, daredevils. Actually, no. I'll have all three. You're never going to eat all that. You'll need a doggy bag. Nah, she can finish it. Okay. That was interesting, I suppose. <laughs> Murder or... Actually, no, that's the new case. I want to click on these old ones so that I can get rid of that notification. Oh, there we go. Like that. The missing hand was not solid at all. Unfortunately, I lost it away in the, root, in the rain. Oops. <laughs> Cute. Oops, case two. There we go. Show the hammer's and music dog. We was going to say the agency for a while. Seems like they're going to be busy on another case. It's supposed to hasten calls away in Scotland Yard. Okay, cool. That's just the regular stuff. All the stuff that we know. Hello, sir. Before I get to you, I'm going to look, uh, look, look, look at other things first. Always. Uh, nope. Nothing here. So you can check on the bus stop. Where would we, uh, where would be we be without buses in London? At home. <laughs> So you all have to. Uh, so all you have to do is sit and um, sit and stay, and a bus comes along to pick you up. Now that's what I call civilized. I'll always love my bicycle, but I enjoy taking the bus sometimes too. Hey, thank you. 
Ah, you see, you can see the clock tower even from here. Look. With that illumination, the time is clearly visible, even at night, uh, when the hands aren't missing. <laughs> I still can't get over how um, how clever Mr. Lipsky was to make a replica out of uh, make a replica of hand out of water. Wait, what? Did I read that wrong? <laughs> he made a replica out of water. Oh, I'm confused. Oh, hello. Secrets. Gimme. There we are. Oh, I say. Oh, oh, I say. There's a puzzle hiding among, uh, hiding among the folds of that flag. What a highly improbable pu place for a puzzle. Well spotted, Ernest. You, uh, you quite often find puzzles where you least expect them. Now then, why don't you um, have a go at solving this one, Ernest? Seeing as you, uh, seeing as it was as, uh, seeing as it was you who found it. How did you find that? <laughs> he just climbed up. I, I, something is suspicious about that fly and just climbs the entire tower. People walking by, just like, what is that man doing up there? I found a puzzle, miss. Um, a shark is on the prowl at a popular fishing spot, and it's very hungry. You only have three pieces of bait to catch all the fish in the area, but you can't afford to throw um, any bait too close to the shark, or or it will notice and try to bite. Why should you throw your precious, ba precious bait? Your bait attracts all the fish, including any sharks, within a certain range of where you throw it. Of course you can't throw bait directly on top of fish. That might hurt them. Okay. I've only got three. Oh, like here? Wait, what am I doing? Okay, there we go. I was way really confused. So I can't do it on top of there. One right there. One right there. And one right there. Having the assistors makes it definitely makes the puzzle really easy. How to solve this now? Ta da! Puzzles are made for solving. Yeah, the puzzles they give you like the um the animation of everything like it, it, like it actually helps you kind of see which ones you've caught and everything it makes it way easier to do the puzzles you did it the shark is very envious of all the fish you caught it's thinking of selling some of its teeth to earn enough to buy a fishing rod of, of its own <laughs> no don't sell your teeth shark you need them i did it i did it miss i solved it haha <laughs> well done Ernest. i'm i'm impressed well, it wasn't easy, but it was all worth it just to hear you say that, miss. I mean, it wasn't that difficult. <laughs> uh, phew. I wouldn't want to, um, want an office up there. Think of all the stairs. <laughs> I expect that's where, um, most senior officers have, have their offices. Apparently they had, uh, to rebuild, Sc rebuild Scot Scotland Yard because the original building was so old and dil uh, dilapidated. Hmm. Ooh, hello. Scotland Yard, Scot Scotland Yard, the is an absolute icon of, of the city, isn't it? Such a dignified building. Oops. The sight of that um, crest is enough to make me worry that I might have forgotten to pay for something when I was shopping. <laughs> I'm sure that um, they've got that emblem wrong. It had two lines and a, a portic portic porticulus? Port oh my god. Portic porticulus. Porticulus? Porticulus? Last time I looked. I'm going to have to look up how to, pr how to pronounce that. Apologies. <laughs> okay, I think that's everything. Hello, sir. Mr. PC Beat? Uh, yeah, that's a PC Beat. Hello, hello, hello. What have we got? What are we here? Uh, Catra, Layton, and Co. No less. Good to see you at the yard, ma'am. Inspector Hastings is investigating the latest case with a rather small team of officers. The select few, you might say. The select few, you might say. Haha. <laughs> um, and after your brilliant performance on the Big Ben case, I'm not. So, I'm not at all surprised to find you among them, ma'am. Gosh, you've made you've made a name for yourself already, miss. Yes, which means we'll have to work hard and solve this case too. I have ex I have expectations to live up to now. Can I train my clothes? <laughs> I was just thinking that. I'm gonna maybe try to train my clothes every episode, but I don't know. I don't think I have any that many fashion farthings. Oh, that's cute. Actually, no, I do have a few. Um, let's dress up as Professor Layton. Nah. What's this? Cat's pajamas. <laughs> Where are my pajamas on the case? Ooh. Imperial elegance. I like this one. Picnic blanket wrap. Yes, thank you. Wear it now. Excellent. Time to solve the case on my new in my new outfit. Oops. Oh. Oh yes, I forgot to mention that we can return to the agency at any point. You know. Whenever you'd like to go back, just press X or select the latent detective agency button. Um, I've put details of all cases on the pinboard, so you can switch to investigating another case whenever you decide to do so. Or you can play around with the office uh, Feng Shui, if you don't like how it's decorated at the moment. Hmm. 
Ah, so that would be the way of going back to the previous cases and finding um, any coins or solving any puzzles that we might have missed. Oh, okay. Yes, and uh, for the less serious-minded, Ernest, redecorating um, can be a nice change of pace. For now, for every four puzzles that you solve, you'll receive a, a decor docket, a decor docket uh, that you can exchange for different styles of furnishing and use to exchange the agency office. Okay. You've solved ten puzzles so far, so you've earned yourself two de decor dockets. Let's just see what going back to the agency means. Ah, oh, yes, please. Save my progress, thank you. So that's cool, so I can switch between cases now, which means I um, I can find, go find more, find more older puzzles. Move the magnifying glass to investigate the pinboard and choose to choose which is, um, ongoing case to tackle. Okay. Touch the feng shui chair at the bottom of the uh, right, the right screen to press, or of the right screen, blah, 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 bottom right of the screen, there we go, I'll press Y. If you'd like to rearrange the furniture, redecorate the office. Can I actually do anything yet? Select the feng shui chair on icon if you want to change the look of the Latin detective, detective agency office. Blech. <laughs> Why can't I say it properly? Uh, pick the particular aspect of the room you'd like to change. Like to change. There are eight different pieces of furniture or decor uh, you can modify. Once you've picked out the new look, you can uh, look you're after. Press A to change. Yeah, okay. The style has. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Yep, I get it. I get it. I get it. You can earn one decor dog every four puzzles. Yep. Get your thinking cap on. The profile card shows you some key statistics about your progress in the game. Okay. Well, that's cool. Lena, time played. What's X do? Oh. Uh, change. I can change. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Just order, order, automatically going into it. Oh my gosh, I love it. That rug definitely needs to change. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Oh, I'm actually not officially changing them, apparently. I love it. That is a great change of face. Okay, uh, let's check the board. Will it help me my progress of like the other thing? Because I think since I even even though I've solved the case, um, I wanted to tell me if I've like if I still need to go back to get puzzles. Cases you're already uh, you're working on and any you've solved already are up on the pin board in the agency office. Press A or to or the investigate button to start playing the case you've you've currently ha um have highlighted. As you solve each case, new cases will arrive to keep you busy. Uh, each case appear with a new with the word new in the top left corner. Cases that you've started but not yet solved are, are marked under investigation. Cases that you've solved as you've already unraveled, marked solved. Cool. You can still investigate cases you've already solved. Uh, you return to the point just before you solve the case to play to play from there. For cases that you've already cracked, the number of coins found and, and puzzles solved um, in that case will be displayed. Ah, thank you. When you return to old cases, you may find uh, more puzzles hiding around the original places that, that hiding around the places that were uh, that than there were originally. Sorry. Um, okay, so let me click on that. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. So I'm missing five coins and a few puzzles. Three puzzles. I might get back to that later, though. Um, I'll continue on with the regular with the regular case for now. I think maybe in the next episode I'll go back to those other puzzles and then try to find the hint coins and everything. Tonight is the festival. Okay, we, we already know this. We I went through this like a couple minutes ago. I don't, I don't think I need to go through that again. <laughs> Let's go. The public facing entrance, the way, uh, entrance way of Scotland Yard. Something's not, something's not right. Oh, what is it, miss? Don't you think it's unusually quiet here at the police headquarters, considering a murder has just been, report just been reported? Yes, I suppose you're right. I don't see many officers rushing, um, about to follow any leads. Uh, follow any leads. Hmm. Oh look, there's Douglas Sturt, the reporter from the London Times. Ah, let's go get. Uh, let's go and ask him if he knows anything. Um, if anyone will, if anyone will know, it's a reporter. He digs up some dirt, Douglas Sturt. Hello, Douglas. Hello there. You're on the same trail as me, I dare say. You've heard about um the incident at River, uh, Riverside Riverside Festival, I presume. A murder, no less. What a dark world we live in. So it was a murder then. Yes, probably. Or maybe not. It does seem likely. Then again. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, I thought of all people you'd know at least. Well, the word on the street is it was a murder, but the police haven't made a statement either way. Seems a bit odd, don't you think? Don't you think? A murder at uh, one of London's biggest events should be um, front page news. 
Hmm, it looks like we're just going to have to get uh, get the facts from the horse's mouth. If by horse you mean Inspector Hastings, eh? He passed. He, pa he passed. He passed. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry. He passed her ear not long. Uh, not long. Ints? Not long. I don't know what that last one's supposed to be. If I also remember, if I say Hastings, he passed here through here not long. Since. Since? I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't figure out the word, apologies. Please, if you know, please put it in the comments. <laughs> I impressed, uh, I pressed, I pressed him to get, oh there we go, I pressed him to give me the lowdown, but he gave me um, the cold shoulder. Uh, I think he's probably in, a, in his office, in his office. Ah, uh, thanks for that. We'll go and visit, we'll go and find him. No need to thank me. All I ask in return is a little addition of any dirt you happen to pick up. Anything, anything at all will do. We'll give you that dirt, don't worry. Okay, must inspect everything else first. Newspapers and magazines for people waiting, eh? Where, where's Ideal Hound? <laughs> uh, there are local papers as, as well as natural broadsheets here. Gosh, look at that headline. Headline: Immigration disaster looms. Martians claim right to live and work in Britain. Martians? I was not expecting that. I think members of the public are supposed to sign in here, but I never have. Golly, have all these people visited Scotland, Scotland Yard today? Luckily, I can't write sh- oh. Damn it, I missed it. Shell O Holmes. Shell O C Holmes. Shell O Holmes. Click on everything. This is the reception desk, Shell. I mean, just in case you couldn't see from down there. <laughs> the sign makes it makes it very clear uh, where you need to go when you arrive at least. Not so friendly for dogs, is it? How could um, you ever read that sign without jumping up and putting your paws on the counter? They probably don't expect the dog to be walking in and trying to read the read the sign, so <laughs> Anything? Hint coin, please. Nope. Oh, there we go. One there. Can I inspect that? No. Ooh. Okay, I thought that was gonna make me look at it instead. Never mind. Can't talk to that guy. Okay. A puzzle! Hello, 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 Miss Layton. I came across this puzzle during the, the course of my investigations to uh, into a certain case. Mum's the word, of course, but I can't figure it out. Oh, could I see it? You could indeed. This is a very puzzling puzzle. I'd certainly appreciate your assistance. Puzzle away. Let's go. Pizza preferences. Mmm. Piping cup pizza um, has just been delivered, so it's time to get get it onto plates pronto. It's been pre-sliced, and you um, and you just need to make sure all three children have precisely the same amount. But there's a, but there's always a but. Um, each, ch each child has particular ingredients that he or she doesn't like, so you can't give them the slices with toppings they won't eat. Okay. Um, so doesn't like egg, doesn't like tomato, doesn't like bacon. But I have to give them every other slice. Okay, well I'll distribute the eggs to other ones. Let me just see what I can do. That has bacon on it, so I can't give it to them. Okay. Um, probably not that one then. Like that. It doesn't like tomato. So that's a, that's a, that's one whole pizza and a bit, one and a bit pizzas. Ah, uh, doesn't like bacon, so I can give them any other one. What happens if I just give you all that? Is that one and a bit? Ah, oh, that's one a little bit extra. No. Nope. Okay, that's one and a bit there. Doesn't like bacon though. Wait, so uh, give me this one. Give you that, and that, and that. That's too much though. Um, they basically have two whole pizzas there. <laughs> um, okay, so more well, first. I should actually figure out how much pizza I should be giving them. Ah, oh, undo. Okay, just try again. There we go, that's easier. So there's four pizzas all together. That means... Oh wait, no, I don't have to give them... I don't have to use all the pizza, obviously. So I have to just give them the same amount. Okay. Doesn't like bacon or tomato. Probably goes to this one. Do you think they all have one pizza each? 
it's probably all it's probably one pizza each so if I gave you this one because she doesn't like bacon and then just gave you that's one whole pizza for you um this one here like that and then this one here like that is that how it works oops Oh no, okay, yeah, so I, ca I can use all of them, yep. So it doesn't like tomato, so I don't give it to them. Wait, wait, It doesn't like bacon, so definitely you over here. And then you over here, and you over here. Perfect. I've seen that should work. So I, 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 was, I did have to use all the, whole, all the pizza. They must have been hungry. They're, 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 those are hungry kids. A whole pizza and um, a whole pi one 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 and a third pizzas. Wow. Um, now eat up before it gets stone cold. Before it's stone cold. There, that should put um, put you out of your misery, P PC beat. Oh, indeed. Uh, oh, indeed, it should, Miss Layton. Much obliged, I'm sure. Uh, now I'll be able to keep keep my mind on the job. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> uh, you're very welcome, Constable. Uh, do call in at the Legend, Legend Detective Agency if you need any assistance with any other matters. Okay. Um, I don't think I can talk to anyone else. Like, they won't, as in they won't give me anything new, I mean. Like I said, I saw Inspector. Yeah, okay. He's in his office. Thank you. Oops, I meant to check what it says first. Oh well, I forgot. Hello, Eastings. Now then, where is the Inspector? Oh look, there he is, over there. Gosh, his face is as black as thunder. That must have been terribly troubles. Th this must be a terribly troublesome case. He always looks like that. <laughs> perhaps he finds. Uh, perhaps he finds every case troublesome. Let's ask. <laughs> I love that. Like, I love that they walk in and they're like, "Where? Uh, where is he?" When he's like standing right here. <laughs> Just you don't need to be like that. <laughs> uh, let me inspect your entire office first before I speak to you. Don't mind me. Just you know, rummaging through things that aren't mine. Oh, I wasn't expecting a puzzle. This clock is absolutely spot on, isn't it? To the second. Well, Shell, having accurate accurate time references is a vital part of the investigator, investigative pro process, uh, procedure. Sorry, not process. Quite right, Ernest. Police and detectives always, uh, police and detectives alike, always um, have to make sure they have the correct time. So we're gonna make the time correct. <laughs> a matter of time. It was only a matter of time. Um. An old clockmaker needs to help setting uh, needs help setting the times on these clock on these three clocks. The clocks each each say different times. One says uh, four or five. One says twelve uh, two eighteen. Sorry, um, the other says three or five. One of the clocks is thirty two minutes fast. Another is twenty eight minutes slow. One of them has stopped completely. Set to, uh, set them all to the correct time. Okay. One is um so say if uh four or five is thirty two minutes fast. Actually no, I make it I'll make it two fifteen, two thirteen, two eighteen, sorry. Um wait no. Actually yeah, we'll do two eighteen. So say if two eighteen is thirty two minutes fast, that would make it one uh 146 Working out time is hard for me for some reason. Take off 10 minutes. Yeah, so it'll be 1 140 something? 146? It's hard to do it on the switch, I'm just gonna do it on my phone. So one says four or five. So let's see if that's thirty minutes fast. Thirty-two minutes fast. Four or five minus thirty-two minutes um, would be three. Three forty. No, three thirty. It would have to be three thirty-three, right? I think that's right. You'd plus. Plus 32 minutes to 3.33, we get you, yeah, that should be right, 3.33, and then um, if I minus, and then 
three or five. 20 minutes, 22, 28 minutes slow, so if I plus 28 to that, I would get three, I would get 333. So the time is 333. So then the one that stops completely is 218. I'm pretty sure. So the correct time is, no, this way. Thank you, 333. Right. <laughs> right? <laughs> Submit. This puzzle's got some bite. Yeah. That was too easy. Time puzzles, yeah. You did it, the correct time is 3.33. The old man looks uh, really pleased now that all of his clocks are right. You should be, sir. Yay, one decor ticket. Decor docket. <laughs> a jolly good shell, well done. Are you in training to be a police dog, by any chance? Oh sure, uh, it's what I've always always dreamt of pinstraps. Surely Shell, um, Shell's in training to be a detective. Detective's dog, not a police dog. He's made a very promising start. I give up. Poor Shell. Okay, anything interesting? Oh, secrets. A magnificent mustache. <laughs> Love it. Oh. Ah, a comfortable chair for guests to sit in uh, when, they, when they come to visit the inspector. I bet that thing that thing looks a bit old, looks old, but I bet if you curled up uh, just right, it would still be it would still it would still be a great bed. Yeah, that is what he said. <laughs> Last one, disappointing. Uh, I was expecting real leather. Uh, it's very easy to tell that this, that this isn't. Would real leather be, leather be expensive, I assume? Oh, don't mind me, you know, investigating your probably top secret do top secret documents. <laughs> Do you think there's something behind um, all those papers that he's trying to cover up? It's rather hard to see what's um, what's what among among all these uh, photos and pho uh, photographs and memos. Oh look, there's a recipe for beans and uh, beans on toast here. I wonder what case that's from. That was from. The case of how to make beans on toast. <laughs> I don't know. Anything else? I think that's it. Okay, hey Stings, how are you going? Just investigating your pocket there. Actually, no, investigating the fact that your jacket has no pockets. Oh my god. Ah, they. E, your ear. Your ear cat. Ah, your ear cat. Your ear, ear cat. <laughs> ah, your ear cat. There you go. <laughs> ah, good. I've been waiting for you to show up. I see you've got your usual um, entourage with you. I don't actually allow pets in the yard, but I'll turn a blind eye for now. I hear there was an uh, incident at the Riverside Festival. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and the festival's in full swing already. I was actually planning on taking my bed off or a long time uh, to watch the show, uh, but now this is now this has happened. People are saying it's a murder. Is that right? Who told you that? Oh, it was me on the blower, wasn't it? <laughs> but like I said, uh, uh, we don't know for sure. What exactly did happen, Ex Inspector? Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what I know so far. Earlier this morning, a man and a woman fell from opposite banks, oh, into the Thames, and haven't been seen since. But it sounds like it was no accident. The man was pushed by someone. Hmm. Then it's clearly a murder. The woman on the other on the other hand chucked herself in. Gosh, a murder and a suicide. You're not suggest suggesting the two events are unrelated, um, but just happened to occur at the same time coincidentally. Coincidentally, we haven't managed to ascertain uh, ascertain yet uh, whether they're unrelated or not. There's people um, trawling on the rivers as we speak, as we speak, but we still haven't um, found either one of them. This is making my head hurt already. Yeah, same. On the phone before, you said it was probably a murder, but it might not be a murder. What did you mean by that? Do you know anything about the victims at all? According to our invest investigation so far, the girl was called Vic. Uh, the, the girl was called Vic and the bloke was called Tim. Uh, the last name is not forthcoming. A victim? Both of them, uh, both of them lived down on Chancellor Lane, as it seems. It seems. Well, blow me, blow me down uh, with a feather. Everything seems to be happening on our street. Apparently the pair was set to appear as part of the Riverside show of Devotion tonight. I wonder, I wonder what's behind all of this. It's my job to find that out, Sunshine. It seems I was, I was requested personally to handle the investigation. And not only that, I've been told um, not to involve too many officers. On uh, on the one hand, I'm flattered, but on the other, uh, I'm flummoxed. There isn't mo uh, exactly much to go on, and I'm and I'm, I'm ampered, um, and I'm ampered by having. If so few officers are at my disposal as well. Hampered? Hampered? I don't know. Uh, which is partly why I asked you to come. Come down here, Cap. Uh, 
You couldn't lend a hand. You couldn't lend a hand, would you? I see. So that's the situation. Tell me, who who is it that um asked specifically for you, Inspector? I'm just on my way to see that person in question. Um, now as it happens, tag along. I'm led to believe I can find her down um at Guildhall. Guildhall? You mean the town hall on, on Gresham Street? Yep, that's the one. Come on, shake a leg. All right then, lead the way. Cool. Well, I actually might leave this episode right here. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I um, hope to see you puzzling in the next episode. <laughs> if, you, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.